Write the chemical equation for the thermal decomposition of, a sodi of sodium carbonate. Okay. So the general equation is a carbonate, and with the application of heat, turns into carbon dioxide plus some kind of salt. Okay. So Na2CO3, which is sodium carbonate, turns into CO2 and Na2O. Okay. The Na2 comes from the fact that O needs two electrons. Sodium can only give away one, so you need two sodium atoms to satisfy one oxygen atom. And if you try to balance it, you don't need to because it's already balanced for you. Okay. Now, if sodium carbonate is used in baking, with reference to part A, explain why sodium carbonate is used to make cake karais. Okay, so we bake with sodium carbonate, sometimes sodium bicarbonate as well. Um, so why do we make? Why does it make the cake rise? Well, when heat is applied to sodium carbonate, carbon dioxide is formed through thermal decomposition. So when you apply heat, you get carbon dioxide out. If the carbonate is well distributed throughout the mixture, small bubbles of CO2 will form in when, as the mixture is heated in an oven or whatever. So if you mix the mixture, your flour, your dough, the sodium carbonate will form little bubbles of carbon dioxide because the heat breaks down the CO2, the Na2CO3. And these bubbles actually ca cause the cake to expand because they take up slightly more volume. So they cause the cake to expand and so the cake rises because it can only go upwards, not outwards. Okay, That's why.